know it's early guys and I was hoping some of you would be able to join me. I'm trying to make a commitment to get on Periscope at least once a week. I'm going to start there. <laughs> hi Neve. Hi Jen. So first thing I want to do is talk about this really awesome, awesome toy device thing that I just got. Um, and it's called Pavlock. And when I was in New York, let's see here. When I was in New York um, for my mastermind, I met somebody really, really awesome. Um, hey, Zach. Um, and his name was uh, Manish Sethi, who also happens to be Ramit Sethi's brother. Um, and he has this amazing invention, and it's called the Pavlock. And I have it on right now. Um, and this thing is supposed to help you break bad habits. Um, it's supposed to help you break bad habits like within five days, like really, really quickly. Um, and basically what it is, is, um, electric shock therapy. <laughs> so whenever you're doing a bad habit, so say, you know, one of the things I want to use it for is, um, for sugar, um, just, you know, eating better. Um, it's helped people stop smoking, stop biting their nails, things like that. Um, it's so cool, Neve. Um, <laughs> and, um, it's actually pretty, um, kind of cute. Like it's cute on and they have different colors, um, different color bands. You can get pink, blue, um, couple other ones. And, um, basically what it does is whenever you're in the process of the bad habit. So right after this, I am going to probably pour myself like this big glass of chocolate milk or something. And <laughs> you just press this button right here and it actually gives you a shock. Ooh. Um, it actually gives you a shock. So every time you do the bad habit, you, um, get shocked and you don't like the way it feels and you break your bad habit. So it's pretty awesome. I just got it. I'm going to start using it. I'll let you guys know how it is. Like I said, um, it's supposed to break the habit in five days. Um, so check it out. Pavlov.com. Um, let me just show you the, the box again. Kind of kind of Pavlock um, kind of like snapping a rubber band on your wrist can you use it on your kids kind of I think you can I, I, another thing it kind of really reminds me is um you know the the shock collars for dogs um, where you have like that invisible fence and the dog has the shock collar on and when it goes outside of the the area they get shocked um, so yeah pretty cool um, I think I think it's about $200, if I'm not mistaken, like $199. Um, so check it out. Hey, Crystal. Awesome. So <laughs> Pavlov's dog. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Jen. Awesome. Who, who's from Philly? I'm only like half an hour from Philly. Um, awesome. So breaking bad habits. I kind of want to talk today as well about breaking bad habits in your business in 2016. Um, and for those of you that don't know me, I think most of you on here do, but those of you that don't, um, my name is Jen Scalia, as my username suggests, and um, I'm a business coach and I help entrepreneurs um, that want to make a really big impact. So I help them with their mindset, with their strategy, with their online marketing, um, and really just make more money in their business and, and get to get more people to know about them so that they can have a further reach and have their message go further. So um, my website is jenscalia.com if you guys wanna check that out. Um, but let's talk about breaking bad habits in 2016 um, along with this Pavlock. It's gonna help me do a couple things. Um, so on a personal level, a couple of things I wanna do is um, actually start going to Actually, not even going to the gym, but um, just exercising more and eating less sugar. I eat a lot, a lot of sugar. I'm probably addicted to it. I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, so I definitely want to break that. Um, but some of the things in business that I see a lot of people, um, you know, doing is are the things that I want to talk about um, because they're mistakes that I made um, in probably over the last year, year or two of my business. So I think they're definitely things that. You know, if we know about it in advance, it's a lot easier to like break the habit um, instead of just learning on our own, making the mistake, and then learning the hard way. So I'm going to give you guys a shortcut. 
Um, so the first thing is really just trying to do everything on your own. So as a solopreneur, entrepreneur, a lot of times we think like, oh, this is, it's just us. Um, we're a one man show. We can do everything ourselves. And that is just not the truth. Um, the truth is that you need help. So whatever that looks like for you, I mean, that could be just hiring a VA, it could be hiring an online business manager, it could be hiring a coach. It could be hiring somebody to do your website. Um, also, um, I actually just hired a personal assistant, um, which is awesome. Um, she actually is coming to my house. She's going to help me um, with errands, um, with cleaning up, a um, little bit of babysitting here and there so that I can get some work done, um, shopping for me, mailing out stuff to clients. Like, I'm really super excited about this because um, I've been working so hard on my business <laughs> I don't think you'll get sued, but that's actually might be a good idea, Zach. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited about having somebody on board and somebody actually here. You know, it's one thing to have um, a VA and somebody that you can like, you know, send tasks to and they get it done, but actually having her here um, and having her do the stuff that really I just don't have time to do because I'm so busy working on my business. Um, now, this is something that you have to kind of work um, towards, I'm sure. Um, but I mean, you can find anybody, you can find somebody on Craigslist, care.com, even enlisting somebody that's maybe like one of your friend's teenage kids or something, um, to come for a couple hours a week and, and just help you out. Um, because when you start to get really, really busy in your business, um, you just can't do it all. And you really have to embrace the fact that you can't do it all. And once you wrap your head around the fact that you can't do it all, you're going to be even more successful. Um, you know, my first year to 18 months of my business, I just tried to do everything myself. And I just was like, I can do it all. You know, I've, I've done this before. I've done marketing before. I've done admin before. I've done sales. So I know my shit. I can do it all, right? No, didn't didn't work that way. <laughs> and it wasn't until I enlisted help um, in order to to really skyrocket my business. So that's number one bad habit that you should break in 2016 is just trying to do it all again. Tell me how to call that watch. Um, the Pavlock, P-A-V-L-O-K. Um, second bad habit to break is being invisible so for those of you that don't know me i am and my wrist is actually still buzzing a little bit from that shock um <laughs> The second one is being invisible. So I'm all about visibility. And the reason why I'm all about visibility is because I am actually an introvert. Um, and for the first 18 months of my business, almost two years of my business, I hid. I just, I was, you know, I didn't want to put myself out there. Um, I didn't want people to know who I was. Um, I was just really scared, you know, and nervous and shy. Um, so I didn't put myself out there, which is why I'm so passionate now about helping other people um, really, um, just put themselves out there and be visible so that the right people, the people that need to hear their message, the people that need to work with them, the people that need to learn from them can actually hear that message. So, all right, trolls already, woohoo. Um, love, gotta love that. <laughs> Um, so that is the second bad habit is being invisible. Make sure that you're doing something every day to get yourself out, out there, whether that's um, a Periscope, a video, a blog, a Facebook post, an Instagram post, um, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, just make sure that at least once every single day you are putting your message out there. I would suggest doing more than once, obviously, you know, two, three, four, five times a day um, so that you are very visible. Lots of people know who you are. And you know what? To be honest, you probably will annoy people. I think I definitely annoyed a lot of people in the beginning when I was posting a lot, a lot, a lot. But guess what? It also got me a lot of business. So I was able to um, really just absorb that and say, you know what, people that are getting annoyed, people that don't like me posting, they're just not going to like me and they're not going to buy from me anyway. I want to focus on the people that want to hear my message, that are ready to hear my message, um, and that want to work with me. So, um, which kind of brings me, leads me into the third bad habit, which is being selfish. So kind of goes along, Ooh, hold on, I got to sneeze. Um, <laughs> and it went away. Um, so the third one is being selfish. Third bad habit to break in 2016 is being selfish. So a lot of times um, we just don't thank you. Um, we don't think that um, we're being selfish um, when we hide. Um, 
we don't think we're being selfish when we don't put our message out there. Um, but the truth of the matter is when we're so absorbed in ourselves and we're so worried about what other people are going to think about us and we're so worried about, you know, what other people are going to say about us or, you know, just being shy or just being like, I don't really want to put my message out there. What if people think I'm stupid? What if people think I'm dumb? What if I get crickets? What if people don't... Um, you know, buy from me. And that's actually really, really selfish because there are people that need you. Um, hey, Lisa, how are you? Um, there are people that really need you and it is selfish of you to not put yourself out there, to not make them an offer, to not tell them how you can help them and to not share that message. So that is the number three bad habit to break in 2016 and that is being selfish so think about really think about your business and think about your message and think about your bigger vision and your bigger mission um, as bigger than yourself this is something that I I talk about a lot um, is that when you can make that vision bigger than anything else in your life then all of those fears all of those doubts like all of that stuff is going to go away it's just going to be squashed because um, you're not so worried about yourself uh, you're more worried about I have this message um, I have this vision I want to help people and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to help as many people as possible um, so number three bad habit to break in 2016 is being selfish um, Number four bad habit is not knowing your numbers. Um, so I think a lot of people avoid this because they um, they don't want to face the reality of it, right? Um, you know, knowing your numbers, and I actually am going to talk about this in an up upcoming webinar about how I used to um, track just my expenses. I used to track just my expenses and my debts. Of course, Jen. Jen is like the money girl. Um, if you guys want to get financially fit and know your shit about money, follow Jen. Um, I think it's Jay Terrell. Um, awesome. All right, I'll talk to you later. Um, so it is um, just knowing your numbers. Um, so like I was saying, I used to track just my expenses and everything that I owed people and all of my debts. And it just kept me in more debt. It kept me being broke. Um, and it wasn't until I switched over and decided to really start tracking my actual income and what was coming to me that I started experiencing a lot more abundance. I started getting more clients. I started saving more money. I started having more money in the bank. And I think it's just really important to know as a business person, you know, um, just because you're an entrepreneur or you're a service provider doesn't mean that the rest of the world doesn't exist. Um, it really means that you are also a business person and you have to have that mindset of a business person and know that there are things, certain things that you're going to have to invest in. Um, so that will be the help that you're going to need to um, create a bigger business for yourself. Maybe you need to hire salespeople. Maybe you need to hire assistants. Um, maybe you need to have somebody do your website or write copy for you. Maybe you need to hire a coach to help you take it to the next level or a mentor. Um, but you have to know how much of that money you can actually spend, right? Um, another good book to read is called Profit First. Um, I think Jen might know about this as well um, and this book actually teaches you how to manage your money in a way so that your business is profitable from day one even if it's just you taking uh, you know two dollars or five dollars or fifty dollars out of every income that you get um, and putting it aside in an account for you um, so that's a big mistake I made as well as in the beginning it was like it was all going into one account um, for my business and then I was just like you know, recycling that money. Like I was using it over and over again to invest and reinvest and reinvest. Um, and, um, I just, on my regular bank account, my personal bank account was like at zero. Like I had no money to like pay my bills or to, you know, do things I wanted to do or go on vacation or anything. So once I read that book, um, I really started putting my money aside. Um, somebody asked the name of the author of that book. Do you know, um, Jen, if you do, can you type it in for them? Um, but really, really great book. Um, just be really conscious of your numbers as a business person. It's super important knowing what you can spend, knowing how much is actually coming in, knowing how much money you're going to have coming in over the, the months. Um, so just be really smart about your money from day one. Um, 
All right, so <laughs> the next bad habit to break, and it's so funny because I have this written um, on the notes on my computer right behind my phone here, and it actually says um, being a flower. <laughs> Um, so I must have been typing really, really fast when I um, was writing my notes for the Periscope. So it, the number five bad habit to break is not being a flower, um, but actually being a follower. <laughs> so break that bad habit of being a follower. Um, we're all unique. Um, you know, we all have our own things to give. And even though there's, you know, a lots of people that probably do what you do, um, you have your unique thing and your unique message and you really have to understand what that is and embrace what that is. And that's what you need to share um, with the world, right? Because um, I just see too many people that uh, they jump on bandwagon. So as soon as somebody does one thing, it's like they're jumping on, you know, doing whatever that person does. And what ends up happening is they don't stand out. They end up just blending in and they end up just looking like that other person and talking like that other person and using the same phrases and doing the same um, marketing techniques and having the same opt-ins and doing the same Periscope challenges. And it's just, you know, it gets really old really fast. So um, I think the number one thing that I see in leaders and the number one thing I see in really successful people is that they pave their own way. Um, they have their own path, they do their own thing, and they don't care. They don't care what other people think. Hey, Carolyn. Um, and I think that's what really is going to set you apart because let's be honest, um, there is so much um, competition. And I don't necessarily like to use that word, but you know, the market is saturated. So if you're online, if you're a coach, consultant, service provider online, um, market is um, very saturated. So you have to really, instead of being that follower, you have to be the leader because when you're the leader, that's when you're going to stand out. That's when people are going to say, oh my gosh, I've never seen that. Or, oh my gosh, you know, I've, I've, you know, never heard of it that way before. You know, you have the best opt-in ever. Like you want to be the one that's like setting the bar. Um, and then everybody else kind of falls in underneath you. You don't want to be the one that's that's here, you know, following what everybody else is doing because, like I said, you're just going to blend in. Um, you might make a little bit of money, you know, because obviously if you're following somebody who's doing something that's proven in marketing, um, then, you know, you're going to probably make a little bit of money, but you're not going to be really, really successful. You're not going to make a ton of money following what everybody else does. So pave your way, do the things that you want to do your way, and you're going to end up attracting the people that really need to hear your message and that really want what you have. Um, so I'm going to recap really quickly. Um, I see that there's some people that jumped on and they're not sure what I do. Um, and what I do is I'm a business coach and consultant for online businesses. So anybody that has an online service-based business that wants to grow, that wants to make an impact, I'm your girl. Um, you can find out more about me at jenscalia.com. Can you see my socks? That's a new one. That's a new one. I have not heard that one. Alrighty. Um, so I just want to recap the five bad habits that you should break in 2016. And then I'm going to show you my little um, Pavlock again. And I'll probably shock myself again just for fun. Um, so the five bad habits to break in 2016 are number one, trying to do everything yourself. You cannot do everything yourself. And either you can take my advice now or you can find out the hard way later. Um, next thing is being invisible. So make sure that you're sharing your message every single day make sure that you're out there letting people know what you do offering up your services whether that's free or paid or whatever but somehow some way get your message out there every day online next bad habit to break is being selfish so stop thinking about yourself so much stop thinking about you know what are people going to think about me what are people going to say about me and start thinking about the impact that you want to make and making sure that you can reach the people that you want to and need to reach um, number four is um, not knowing your number. So make sure right off the bat, whether you're just starting or maybe you've been in business and you're just a little shaky about your numbers, make sure that you know your numbers. Super, super important as a business person to know your numbers, to know what's coming in, to know what you're profiting, to know what your expenses are, to know how much money you have to actually spend on investments. So you gotta know your numbers. Um, and the number five bad habit to break is being a follower because no one really likes a follower, let's just face it. Um, so that is it. I'm going to show you guys the Pavlock again, just because I think it's really freaking cool. Um, I actually just got it last night, or I got it when I um, got back from Bali. Um, so let me see here. 
This is, it's the little symbol, Pavlok, um, and this is how it's spelled, P-A-V-L-O-K dot com, Pavlok. Um, guys, this is really, really awesome. So let me see, let me go back here and see if I can show you the zap again. Um, I actually got the black one because I just, I love black. I'm always wearing black, um, but they have different colors. Like they have blue, pink. Um, it's to break bad habits. Um, people have used it to quit smoking, quit sugar, um, stop procrastinating. Um, really, really cool. Check it out, pavlock.com. Um, and so what you do is while you're in the midst of that bad habit, so if you're a smoker and you're getting ready to light up your cigarette or, you know, take that first puff, you're going to, you're gonna zap yourself. Um, and likewise, you can do it to break your habit around food. So if you're into like the sugary stuff like I am, um, you know, when you go to eat that cake or, you know, drink that chocolate milk or whatever it is, you give yourself a zap. And, and essentially, you're training yourself to not like the feeling that's associated with the action. Um, and it's actually, you know, at first I thought, um, if I zapped myself, that it wouldn't work as, effective right as if you know somebody else did it um but um i kind of am looking at it differently now because i just don't even want to do it <laughs> i don't want to press that button so i don't even do the the thing in the first place like i don't even do the bad habit in the first place because i don't want to zap myself so uh basically all you do is um when you're in the process of that habit you just press this button and you'll see oh <laughs> it does actually zap you and i think i only have it at like 40 or 50 percent right now um so if i had it at 100 i'd be like all over the place probably it's all about how much you want to break the habit yeah i think that too um so i'm going to test it out over the next week and i will let you guys know how it goes um and that's it i'm going to go i have a dentist appointment actually but thank you guys for being here with me today even though it was really early and thank you for all the hearts and hopefully i'll be on another time this week so ciao